We've got some real unfortunate news to talk about today involving Activision Blizzard and Microsoft in general. It looks like Microsoft is going to be joining the game developer firing Apocalypse and lay off 1,900 employees. And this is split up between Activision Blizzard, ZeniMax, and Xbox. We have some pretty big named people over at Blizzard that are directly affected by this. And on top of that, to make things worse, they're also canceling the highly anticipated Blizzard survival game. So we're gonna be going over all this stuff as well as going over the statement that Phil Spencer are put out as well as Mikey Barra's tweet. So it looks like we've got another massive layoff that's happening to the game industry. First, the big one that people were talking about just a few weeks ago was Riot Games, and now it looks like it's come over to Microsoft. So after looking at the statement that Phil Spencer put out when he was talking to The Verge, I'm not gonna go over the whole thing here, but I'm just gonna kinda go over what was said there. And basically the whole thing was like, when the actual merger happened or was completed, they basically did a big assessment and realized that there was a ton of redundancy and just a lot of overlap between positions across all the different companies. So so this is them trying to just, I guess, trim the fat and get rid of all of that bloat. He did mention that to the people that are affected by this, they are going to be supporting them uh, during this whole transition. So it sounds like there's going to be a bunch of like severance benefits for the people that got laid off. But what's really wild about this whole situation is that it looks like Mikey Barra is going to be stepping down. So here's the tweet that he put out. I want to thank everyone who is impacted today for their meaningful contributions to the teams, to Blizzard, and to the players' lives. It's an incredibly hard day and my energy and support will be focused on all these amazing individuals impacted. This is not in any way a reflection on your amazing work. If there's anything I can help with, connections, recommendations, etc., DM me. To the Blizzard community, I also want to let you know today is my last day at Blizzard. Leading Blizzard through an incredible time and being part of the team, shaping it for the future ahead, was an absolute honor. Having already spent 20 plus years at Microsoft with the acquisition of Activision Blizzard behind us, it's time for me to once again become Blizzard's biggest fan from the outside. To the incredible teams at Blizzard, thank you. Words cannot express how I feel about all of you. You are amazing. Continue to do incredible things and always keep Blizzard Blue and the player to the forefront of every decision. To all of those impacted today, I am always available to you and understand how challenging today's news is. My heart is with each of you. So for me, this is actually kind of a shock. Well, I assume it's probably a shock for everybody watching this, but for me, I really thought that Mike Yabar was like, probably the last person that was going to be getting canned over at Blizzard. It just seemed like he had a really good relationship with Phil Spencer, so it just kind of seems odd that, you know, they decided to let him go. I'm just going to be really curious to see what happens going forward with, you know, are they going to have someone else take over and be president, or are they just going to have, like, you know, the game studio, I guess, go straight to Phil Spencer. And then the other thing that really sucked about this whole announcement is that they officially canceled the survival game that Blizzard was working on. Very little information is known about this game and it just really sucks that another Blizzard game is being canceled. And I just gotta say, I know when you guys hear these kinds of stories, it really sucks to hear about all these people losing their jobs, but I just wanna say that, you know, while this does suck and I have a lot of sympathy for those people because it's just, losing your job is just terrible. You know, these things happen in this industry a lot. And, you know, over the years, um, lots of companies just keep hiring and hiring and hiring. And, you know, you just get to a point where you get a lot of these uh, employees that I guess just the ends don't justify the means in the, you know, the people that are kind of pulling the strings at the company. So every once in a while we get these like huge layoffs and uh, yeah, it's just, it's terrible. I guess I really don't have much else to say on this matter. I mean, I'm just kind of in shock after, you know, reading this news. But uh, yeah, for me, I guess the, the cancellation of the survival game is something that really hits hard with me. I know I don't really talk about it a lot here on this channel, but for me, I love survival games. You know, I, I really enjoy Rust and Conan Exiles. And yeah, I just, I was super hyped thinking like, oh man, was it, you know, a really good company making a actual survival game instead of like some early access thing. But uh, yeah, now we're, we're never gonna see it. So that sucks. If you guys are looking for some silver lining as far as like the survival game thing, I will say this, the uh, this new game Enshrouded that just popped up on Steam Early Access, it's a survival game and I've been playing a lot of it and it's a ton of fun. So if that's something that you guys are into, I would definitely recommend checking out that game. But I'm really curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on this announcement or I guess this news. Let me know in the comments section. Also do me a favor and leave a like on this video as well as subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching this video. I'm still solo and I'll see you guys in the next one.